What is going on everyone? Mr. Nasfav here coming at you with yet another Digimon conversation. I am more than convinced that you guys are going to enjoy this one because I'm going to be talking about the Digimon that most of you love and that most of you probably would see as their favorite. Alan Tang wrote the following comment on my Explaining Palamon video. Could you talk about Leomon's evolution line? <laughs> of course I can my friend and of course I will. This video is also a response towards the many comments I received of those that want me to talk about Leomon, so let's get into it. This video is going to be a little bit different than the ones I already did. It's going to look like the Machine Ramon video. A video that was straight to the point, a video that was pretty dark. A reason why this video is going to be as dark is because Leomon simply, in appearance, is already very terrifying. You know you cannot simply toy with it. Leomon is an animal Digimon called the King of Beasts, which isn't really surprising as it is a Digimon inspired by the typical lion, a ferocious, barbaric animal earning the title King of the Jungle. Leomon in appearance is basically a sort of hybrid between a human and a lion, sort of like Wergarurumon, a Digimon derived from the werewolf, a sort of crossing between a human and a wolf. Leomon belongs to the nature spirits family. Members of this field are generic animal or monster-like Digimon. It also belongs to the virus busters family. Members of this field are generally sacred or angelic Digimon. Leomon is of course not a holy Digimon like for example an Angemon like I discussed in the Palamon Digivolve line video, but belonging to the virus busters family is what ultimately makes Leomon a Digimon of goodness, which is why it is also known as the noble hero. My sources explain that while most Digimon are ferocious, Leomon possesses a strong will and a heart of justice. Thanks to those aspects, and thanks to its tough flesh, tempered well by daily training, it has defeated a great number of fine dish Digimon. Leomon really is an outstanding combat species, despite belonging to the champion level. I highly recommend that you don't focus too much on the levels of the Digimons, because as I explained in previous episodes, there are ultimate level Digimons that surpasses mega level Digimons, and you also have rookies that have a strategy of attacking in groups, defeating even champion level Digimons. Leomon has an intense rivalry with a Digimon called Ogremon, a Digimon that runs a whole gamut of destruction. Ogremon has a huge history, that's why I will discuss this Digimon in another video. But know that this Digimon also has a separate group of Digimons that from time to time even mock the Royal Knights. But we're going to talk about it in details in another video. Leomon has many Digivolutions and side Digivolutions. We'll start with the regular, I will finish with the darkest. Leomon Digivolves into Grap Leomon, a beast man grappling species Digimon that took in the data of various fighting games using their original secrets to crush the opponent. There is one thing that got me confused. When looking at the family it belongs, Grap Leomon is from the Nature Spirits family, like Leomon, but is now from the Nightmare Soldiers instead of the Virus Busters. Belonging to the Nightmare Soldiers family is what makes a Digimon either a demonic one or an undead one, or a Digimon that dwell in haunted areas. This change made me question the Digimon. What does it mean? It is explained that Grab Leomon inherited the data of Leomon. It is that strong will to justice that drives the turbines to the highest limit of their rotation speed. To me, it explains one thing. If it wasn't for the data of Leomon, then Grab Leomon would actually be an evil Digimon. I'm talking about a hidden darkness kept hidden inside its Digicore. And to my surprise, there actually is a darker variant of Leomon species. We're going to talk about it in this video. Although Grap Leomon rotates the turbines on both of its arms and feet to unleash ever-changing techniques, the turbines rotate by being blown by the fighting spirit emitted by its Digicore. It cannot run on mediocre emotional strength, meaning that if it doesn't have the spirit, the soul of a fighter, then the turbines wouldn't rotate, making the Digimon vulnerable. Speaking of Digicore, I think I should explain it in another separate video, but to put it bluntly, it's the equivalent of one's soul. A Digimon can continue to exist long after its body has rotted away, so long as its Digicore remains unharmed. The problem is that there are certain Digimons that are experts at destroying Digicores, there are certain Digimons that are undead, meaning that you sometimes can see their Digicores. There is a lot that can be said about the Digicores, but we're going to talk about it in yet another video. In the Explaining Gazimon and the Explaining Gabumon video, I did mention a Digimon called Bancho Leomon. In this video, it's about time that I give you a bit more information concerning it. Bancho Leomon is actually a very complicated and mysterious Digimon, to be honest. 
the many sources I used did mix a lot of information which only confused me. That's why I decided to approach it with a grain of salt. From what we know, it is a Beastman Digimon, a Digimon that lives faithfully only to the justice in which it trusts. The Bancho title it earned is derived from very complicated real-life structures. It is either derived from a governmental position during the Ritsuryu period, the period where the historical law system in pre-modern Japan was based on Chinese legalism and the philosophies of Confucianism, which is a tradition, a philosophy, a religion, or simply said, a way of life. Ebancho is also the leader of a group of delinquents, and this fits the Bancho group in the Digimon world much better, as they're a group fighting for justice, or better said, they have their own definition of justice. Only five Digimons in the recorded history of the digital world have been able of possessing such a title. This means that only one Leomon actually came to this level. And to reach this level, a Digimon must battle and emerge victorious in many battles against fierce champions without their spirit being broken. The one thing that is most interesting about Bancho Leomon is that he is the leader of the Bancho team. As it is a boss, it serves only its own justice. If there is something that becomes an obstacle to that same justice, it will see them as evil. Even if they are beings like the Royal Knights, a group of 13 mega level Holy Knight Digimon that are the digital world's sacred guardians and basically sort of like the Digimon world's last hope, as there are a great number of threats that seems to be simply too much for most Digimon to deal with. And I will explain those threats in another video. The Bancho team could even see the Celestial Digimons as a threat and might potentially see them as enemies. The Celestial Digimons are a group of mega level Angel Digimon that are ranked highest in the Heaven Hierarchy. And despite their holy status, they did do some nasty stuff, so it's no wonder that the Bancho team would chase after them. And this actually says a lot about the Bancho team. Even if they are only with 5 members, they higher probably are immensely powerful to even think challenge those other superior beings. And by the way, the Bancho team have yet another team that tries to eliminate them, called the D Brigade, a team of heavily armored Digimons that we will discuss in yet another video. Believe me when I say it, Digimon is a very chaotic and very dark world, and there are things that happened and will happen. I would like to tell all of it just now, but I can't because you'd be missing on so much information. It's important that we take our time and analyze every separate Digimon. That's why it's better to go step by step. Bancho Leomon wears a Gakuran over its shoulders. It has a quote of Siddhartha Guama, a monk believed to have lived in the northeastern part of ancient India. The quote says, I alone am honored in heaven and on earth. I will let you judge what it means. This uniform is endowed with a defensive function that negates 89.9% of the opponent's physical strikes. This really is very impressive, but if you consider that certain Digimons are in the possession of cosmic level powers, would it still be useful? I talked about Machinramon, a member of the crack team. While this Digimon was built to, at a given point, fuse into Millenniummon, a Digimon with space-time powers, would Bancho Leomon be strong enough, even if it has a team support? That's what I'm wondering. But I'd like to tell you that Bancho Leomon did come in situations where it was forced to fuse with other strong Digimons. And we will talk about these fusions in another separate video. We have to get back to Leomon because there is a thing that needs to be discussed. Among the mega level variants of Leomon, you have Saber Leomon. At first, I thought that it was a crap Leomon that further digivolved, but it's actually not the case. And I'll explain why. Saber Leomon is an ancient animal Digimon, derived from the Smilodon an ancient animal known as the saber-toothed lion or tiger. I did mention Saber Leomon in the Explaining Gatomon video. Gatomon has data copied from Saber Leomon, which is why their clothes look alike. This Digimon, despite possessing the ability to run at max speed and having tremendous destructive power, the details of its origins are shrouded in mystery. According to a theory, it is a Leomon who was changed into the shape of a beast. What it means, I cannot say for sure, but I can imagine that there aren't many Sera Leomons around. In fact, there's probably only a few. Why a Leomon was changed into a beast, I don't know. For what purpose, I don't know either. But considering that the Digimon world is this very dangerous world where everything happens, I assume that a Leomon was probably experimented on, like certain other Digimons. To what purpose, I guess I can't tell either. But this means that a Leomon jumped from a champion level to a mega level Digimon. 
One of the few Sable Leomon which have repeated and survived endless battles, where the weak were food for the strong, have been able to digivolve in Dino Tigermon, an ancient beast Digimon and carrier of the X antibody. And speaking of the X antibody, I have some news about it that might maybe shock you. First time I mentioned it was in my first explaining Digimon video about Agumon. I talked about the different Agumon variants, but I never explained how it comes that those variants are carriers of the X antibody. I will explain this story briefly as it is a video focusing mostly on the Leomon Digivolve line, and the X antibody actually has an entire story behind it that also needs to be discussed in another video. At a given point, the digital world became so overpopulated that the supercomputer that governs the digital world, a computer known as Yggdrasil, wasn't able to handle it anymore. Its solution was to wipe out the vast majority of the Digimon with the X program. The X program is a termination program that is there to eliminate 98% of the Digimons. And when the program was executed, 98% of the total Digimon population were indeed eliminated. Only a minority number of Digimon strong enough to resist the effects of the X program were able to survive by changing their Digicores. The Digimon were reborn in a form that could take in the X program. That is how some Digimons became carriers of the X antibody, but this also means that many Digimons did perish. There is a lot I can say about Yggdrasil, as this supercomputer was a Digimon. A Digimon linked with the Royal Knights, linked with the Olympus 12, and even linked with God. But that's a story for a next video. Now we have a clear idea of Dino Tigermon's origins. It is a Digimon that survived the X program. In fact, Saber Leomon is the mega form of Leomon X. A sort of enhanced version of Leomon wearing armored pants and gauntlets. It is said that its red mantle comes from Galantmon, before acquiring the X antibody. Galantmon is another member of the Royal Knights. What happened to it when the X program was executed? That's yet another mystery, and we will try to solve it in yet another video. Anyway, as I said, Dino Tigermon is an ancient beast Digimon and carrier of the X antibody. As the sources tell us, injured Digimon have become its prey. It took in the metal elements of the earth, super hardened its whole body, and digivolved from one of the few Sable Leomon which have repeated and survived endless battles. Its movements are not swift compared to Sable Leomon, but it possesses almost twice as much tough flesh and physical strength. Uh, with its big, sharp, sword-like fangs, it forcibly brings down even Digimon larger than itself, which is why other Digimon fear Dino Tigermon and do not approach it, all because it possesses daring and wild predatory instincts. Let us get back to Leomon. You see, Leomon is actually a Digimon that evolves depending on its will and depending on its training. There happens to be Leomons that took their training in the ice-snow area of the digital world. It made them digivolve differently. Instead of Grab Leomon, they became Ice Leomon, sometimes called Panjimon. By being in the cold, it tempered its mighty will and body. Considering that Ice Leomon is a Grab Leomon, you cannot really be surprised that they are different. And the big difference is that this Digimon not only belongs to the nature spirit, but also belongs to the Virus Busters and the Nightmare Soldiers family. How can a Digimon belong to both the Celestial family and the Demonic family? That is rather unusual. Ice Leomon can further digivolve into Regulumon, a Digimon with a name deriving from the Regulus, the brightest star in the constellation of Leo, and one of the brightest stars in the night sky. Aside of the fact that Regulumon is a mega level Digimon, there isn't really much that is written about it, and simply by looking at its appearance, it's hard to tell if it truly inherited Leomon's will of justice. Regulumon might be a Digimon standing at the side of darkness. Ice Leomon has another variant called Ice Leomon X. Due to the X antibody, it became known as the cool-headed white lion, who exterminates those devoted to evil for the sake of justice, and it started to be said that those battles are unparalleled in their ruthlessness. It wears an axe said to be cut from the legendary rare metal Mithril, holding the power to easily pulverize the permanently frozen icebergs. To end the video, there is a Grapliomon variant that we need to discuss. I told you that Grab Leomon also belongs to the Nightmare Soldiers family, which explains that a hidden darkness might be locked somewhere inside its Digicore. Well, there happens to be a variant called Mad Leomon, an undead Digimon. 
a berserker who lost its intelligence and enhanced its combat instinct. It was originally a Leomon that heaped modification upon modification and arrived at its current appearance. In the process, its consciousness vanished and it became nothing more than a puppet that defeats those standing before it, as it is commanded. Mad Leomon has no level. We don't know if it has the strength of an ultimate or a mega. There is simply written none, so we don't know. And because it has no consciousness, it's as if it is undead, neither living nor dead. And because it doesn't act or think according to its natural instincts, it exhibits headlong assaults, needless even of any traps or gadgets. It doesn't care if it's going to sustain damage or not. As long as it's able to reach the enemy, that would suffice. As the sources tell, fundamentally, it is a high-powered Digimon, except that its patterns are meager, with nothing but primitive attacks such as hitting and kicking. But it really is dangerous as it has a sharp claws bearing a deadly poison which can cause anything to rot away. You will need to be extremely cautious with Mad Leomon as it is a Digimon that fused many times and became more dangerous and more unpredictable as it is mad after all. I am going to explain all three fusions. Mad Leomon can fuse simultaneously with three Digimons, a Mammothmon, which is a Digimon that we're going to discuss in another separate video, as there is more to it than meets the eye. It can also fuse with a Shikurimon, which is a man Digimon lurking on the water or under the shade of rocks, and a Troopmon, which is another under Digimon like Mad Leomon itself. For your information, Troopmon is an artificial Digimon manufactured by stuffing energy stolen from other Digimon within a special rubber body. As it is a machine-like Digimon that can only perform as commanded, it is incapable of spontaneous behavior. It doesn't get fatigued, it doesn't feel pain. Point is, this Digimon has energy stolen from other Digimon. And when Troopmon, Mammothmon, Shikurimon and Madliomon fuse, they will form Madliomon Armed Mode, the weapon frenzy mode of Madliomon, who gave itself a chainsaw as well as even more modifications. Due to its repeated modifications and unbalanced chainsaw, intense pain is always running through its body, enraging Mad Leomon, which is why it is unable to stay still. Because of it, it sees anything reflected in its eye as an enemy and will attack. Mad Leomon can also fuse with Apemon, a Digimon that will be discussed in another video. Together they will form Mad Leomon Final Mode. Nothing is known about its capabilities, nothing is known about the Digimon, Nothing is known about its purpose. At last, Madliomon can also fuse with Orochimon, a demon dragon Digimon with a name derived from the mythological Yamato no Orochi, an eight-headed and eight-tailed Japanese dragon in Japanese mythology. The roots of Orochimon's creation are old, and although it was a being such that it raged in all its fury in the ancient digital world and drove some areas to devastation, it was sealed by the servant of being which sought to preserve the harmony of the digital world. Who that servant may be remains a mystery, but know this, Orochimon is to my surprise a Digimon linked to another group called the Digimon Sovereigns. I don't know how many groups exist in the Digimon world, but this makes me want to dig even deeper. We will definitely talk about the group of Digimon Sovereigns in another video. Even if Orochimon was sealed in ancient times, it survived the period and it would appear that it was unsealed and somehow found a way to fuse with Mad Leomon to become Mad Leomon Orochi mode. What its capabilities may be, we don't know either, but if Orochimon is already a dangerous being that was sealed and if Mad Leomon is considered to be a high-powered Digimon, I think that Mad Leomon Orochi mode might also be a very dangerous one. This is the end of the video my friends, I knew that Leomon would be very interesting but I didn't think that he would be that interesting. And boy how many Digimon teams are there, what are they all capable of doing? That's the question. What is actually happening in that world and what will happen? There are simply too many mysteries in Digimon so we really have to talk about them all in a separate video to have a clear cut image. We will try to solve all those mysteries, it's going to be very fun. Do not forget, if you guys are new, you can always check all the Digimon videos in the playlist of Digimon Conversations. Every video so far is placed in that playlist and it's always updated. Don't forget, I also talk about other stuff, so just take a look at the playlists. Everything is in a separate playlist.